Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss a supernova that stayed bright even 40 years after it exploded. An unusual event took place in our cosmic space in the year 1975. The binary star system HM Sagittae grew 250 times brighter and captured the attention of astronomers across the world. A supernova's brightness fades away within months or years. However, the brightness of HMS Gie had unusually persisted for decades. The retired Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy and NASA's Hubble Space Telescope recently observed the enigmatic star system and unveiled the surprising details. A supernova happens when a gas from its companion is ingested in a white dwarf and causes a sudden increase in brightness. Symbiotic stars like HMS GE have a white dwarf and a giant companion star which are placed in an eccentric orbit near each other. The gas from the giant star was consumed by the white dwarf in this system. In this process, a hot disk of material was created around the white dwarf. When the giant star's hydrogen gas accumulates on the surface of the white dwarf, it can reach a critical density and lead to the ignition in a thermonuclear explosion. Such interactions between the stars give valuable insights into the processes of stellar evolution and the dynamics of binary star systems. In 1975, HMS GA's outburst happened and it transformed from an obscure star to a focal point for astronomers. In 1975, HMS GA went from being a nondescript star to something all astronomers in the field were looking at, emphasized Ravi Sankrit of the Space Telescope Science Institute. The brightness of HMS GA did not diminish rapidly, unlike typical novae. For decades, the supernova maintained its luminosity, which puzzled scientists. With the use of the Hubble Telescope and SOFIA, Stephen Goldman of STSCI, Sankrit, as well as the collaborators, revisited HMS Ski in 2021. The scientists figured that the system had turned hotter, but paradoxically dimmer. According to Hubble's new ultraviolet UV data, a strong emission line of highly ionized magnesium was absent in earlier spectra from 1990. Sankrit said, When I first saw the new data, I went, Wow, this is what Hubble UV spectroscopy can do. I mean, it's spectacular, really spectacular. The star, however, became mysteriously dimmer in recent times, which has now left astronomers curious and more puzzled. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.